Hey guys, if you want my thrifting trade secrets, I am so glad you are here. Check this out. Items for your home like art and furniture and home organization from the thrift store can feel super overwhelming. So here are five easy tricks anyone can do from the thrift store. Do you like them too? And this video is proudly sponsored by Skillshare. I hope you guys enjoy. And first, we're gonna talk about art and easy updates for common home decor. I bet you haven't tried this first trick before to update any thrifted print. If you have a canvas print that maybe you got from a thrift store and it's just flat matte but you want it to look more high end, we're going to show you a super easy way to do that. The secret is a gloss gel medium. I'll put a link in my description box down below. You can also pick it up at your craft store for about $5. You're going to take a paintbrush and paint right onto a flat canvas. This goes on like glue and dries clear and gives it the texture as if it were hand painted. And this even works on paper. So I kind of put it like on a thick layer and then I like go back and put the strokes in. Gotcha. Using the medium, follow the original lines of the artist, going thicker in some places, thinner in others, or maybe even adding some of your own texture. And Aaron added a little heart here, that looks so cool. When this dries, it gives so much depth to the canvas, so you can get something on a dime and make it look really high end for about $5. As an added bonus, do you know what else is in every single thrift store? Glassware, tons of glassware. And I love going online and getting inspired by really high-end things like Anthropology or Kate Spade. And you can achieve the same look using painter's tape and spray paint. I just put some painter's tape onto these beautiful vases and spray painted them gold. These look absolutely incredible on a mantle. Next time you're in the thrift store, take a look at the art and the glassware and think, what could I do with that? Next, we're gonna talk about thrifted furniture. You guys know over the years, I've purchased tons of furniture from the thrift store. When I'm looking at furniture pieces, I'm really looking for two things, that the item is solid wood and has really clean lines. I find it most helpful to stay in a thrift store for a little while to see the new inventory coming out or better yet, shopping on Facebook Marketplace. I found the best deals to come up Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and it always helps to shop local first. Find some of the smaller groups where there's less competition and you can be closest to the item to be able to drive and pick it up. There's a gorgeous mahogany wood entry desk that just needs a little bit of love. The second hand piece that we're working with today is in my friend Aaron's house. We got inspired by high-end pieces with similar lines with a quick Google search. So if you feel intimidated or you're not a crafty person, truly the most trusted way to update is with spray paint. It's also the easiest. And you can go budget friendly. Rust-Oleum, just the cheap stuff, is your best bet. Sand down your piece first and then add several light coats. Just make sure it has a built-in primer. Two things to remember when spray painting. Spray straight across, not in an arced motion, and give 50% coverage each time for the perfect flawless finish. We're gonna do it. And for a few extra dollars, the spray nozzle handles, I think, make it really easy. This is nice. Yeah? The gripper? Yeah, this is pretty, pretty much. Finally, you want to seal it with a polycrylic finish. I'll be sure to link all of these items in the description box down below. My friend Erin has such a cool and eclectic taste and I really loved how this piece turned out. We definitely made over the space on a dime. Let's talk about organization. I have a jewelry organizer that I've shown you before, and when I was in the thrift store last, there was one almost exactly like it for under $20. Items for the bathroom, extra shelves, really the sky is the limit. People donate the craziest things. 
Baskets are the one consistent find in every thrift store. And this doesn't have to be intimidating. Look for a quality basket because these are super easy to take home and just give a quick hand washing to. Put them in your bathtub with a little soap and water and use a bristle brush. Let dry in the sun and you've got quality organizers for just a couple bucks. And be prepared for scores beyond what you imagined. My local thrift store priced this stair basket at just $4.99. This stair basket to stay organized is definitely a new favorite and they retail for $30 to $70. I cannot believe this was at a thrift store. Try a gel medium, your hand at spray paint, and keep your eyes peeled for quality second-hand organizers. I'm starting to get better at looking at more professional tips, which is why I'm super thankful to Skillshare for partnering with me on this video. Their classes from Lauren Cox, she's a professional designer, have taught me so much about experimenting with new lines, color, and ideas. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creatives, people with without a lot of time and on a really small budget. And for a limited time, you get a completely free trial of Skillshare Premium using the link in my description. Free is definitely better than thrifted. They have classes for side hustles, like how to grow your presence on Etsy. They have productivity and lifestyle classes, and they're all taught by experts. And it's just $10 a month. You can work at your own pace, and I love how succinct and easy to follow the classes are. The link is in my description box so you guys can check it out and start your free trial. If you guys enjoyed, leave this video a big thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot. And leave a comment down below with some of your favorite thrifting finds. It always encourages me when I see what other people are finding out there and inspires me to try to shop thrift first. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you so much and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. It has marble in it. Yeah, it's made of marble. Right? I know. And I thrifted it. Pretty big deal. It's in marble. This shawl is from Anthropology. I had to choose it today because I thrifted it. I would never buy anything brand new from Anthropology, ever.